get hit by something today? It's this tin can telephone that I made. It's brand new, but it already stopped working. That's why I like modern technology better. I'm gonna make a complaint to the telephone company. I want you to give me my money back. Wait a sec, didn't you make that thing yourself? Yeah, I did, but I still need to express my indignation somehow. Hello? 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 Jeez, this thing is so useless. Now I know next time I need to get one of those new smartphones. Oh my goodness, Smudge. Give me that. Now let me show you how you're supposed to talk on a tin can phone. Hello? Now we wait for someone to answer. I think that was a point call. It must be because of this terrible, cheapy can. Don't say that about my can. It's the can that I use to raise my wobbly worms in. It's all clean, okay? I only used it that one time for the annual worm festival. Yuck, uh, that's gross. No wonder that garbage doesn't work. That's nonsense, because Hummer isn't complaining about it. And what does Hummer have to do with it? He's on the other side of the line, you dummy. How will I ever get an answer if I, uh... <laughs> Hummer really doesn't talk a lot, right? I would probably do the same thing if there was a dummy on the other side. Maybe the solution is in the volume. Check this out. You see? My phone even comes with accessories. And now I'll be able to hear him perfectly. Hello? Hey, Hummer? Are you out there, my man? What a piece of ugly tin junk. This should come with a warranty. I can tell that you have no skill when it comes to telephones. Give me that thing. Hello, hello, testing. One, two, three. Mayday, mayday. Either Hummer is chatting a lot, or this thing has one heck of an echo. It might be the interference from the extraterrestrials. Earth's technology is so fragile. What's up with you, Mr. Head in the Clouds? How's it going? Say something to me. I don't have all day. <laughs> oh, I just knew it. Did you hear that, too? Oh, that humming of his never fooled me. Ah, run for the hills. There's a child werewolf in the area. Ah! <laughs> Do you think that this neighborhood is lawless now? Now we just need to find Hummer. This is my kid against all vampires and werewolves as well. That beast must be out there somewhere in. But that was Hummer that just went by, running away from Rufius, the meanest dog in the street. No way. Then the one who's doing all of the growling and snarling was Rufius, that you-know-what dog. Of course it was, Smudge. The telephone is not going to talk by itself. Well, then who's on the other side of it right now? Huh? Hey, where are you running off to now, Jimmy Five? It must be one of my good old imaginary friends. Hello? Who's this on the other line? Hello? Is this Big Boy? How you doing, my man? Is everything good? Ooh, smudge. Ooh. Ah! Jimmy Five! Jimmy Five! I think that I found a connection to the spirit world. Ooh, smudge. Ooh. Whoa! I... Uh... I can hear dead people. Oh, come on, it's me. This whooshy noise is because of all the wind up here. Then it's Angel. It's not like it would be some kind of magic star, am I right? <laughs> hey, what are you doing all the way up there with our new telephone? There we go, we have an associate. Mm, I was out doing my weekly cleaning of the neighborhood. I just collected this old tin can from the grass in the park. Oh, no. Now you've offended me, sir. This here is high technology, my man. Bring that halo down here. See how it's done, Jimmy Five? These radical angels, they just love to spread their wings. Huh? Ah! Those radical angels can be so moody sometimes. Forget about all that, dude. I'm going to make another call. Wait a sec, but who are you going to talk to then? That doesn't matter. What matters is that we got a call coming. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> it looks like a flying kite. <laughs> I've always wanted a kite. But wait, what's this can at the end? Cans can't fly. But once I made a can fly, it flew up, 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 and then it fell on my head. Then I cried, cried, cried. Hey, I wonder who's on the other end. Is it Jimmy Five and Smudge? I'll go check it out. <laughs> Jimmy Five or Smudge? Huh? Ah, oh, what a dumb game that was. I say Junior's annoying enough in person. And he must be even worse in a can. Hey, there's someone else calling us now. Woohoo! Maybe this time it'll be an international call. Hello! Bonjour! Wing wing! Hola! Jimmy Five, 
Smudge? Oh, come on. Is that you on the other end? Uh, it's, it's Monica. Monica. That's the last thing that we need. That fatty got a hold of my telephone. Turn it off, you fool. That's what we get when we go throwing the bait anywhere. We end up catching a huge whale. <laughs> that was a nice one, Jimmy Five. Now I'm sure she will go away. Oh! Never leave your trash lying around like this again. Oh, just another person that trashed my new favorite toy. That's the price of modernity. Geez, now there's no one else to talk to around here. Hey, what about me? Are you going to look for someone else to play with me? Of course I am not, silly face. I'm going to play with you. Awesome. I can go back to my house and you can go to yours. We'll be able to chat comfortably in our house, just lying around. Hooray! This is going to be even better than brand new bubblegum. I'll see you at home. Jimmy Five, are you there, man? I don't need to smell you either. <laughs> oh, I can't handle all these advances in our technology. It's marvelous. I can stay here talking all day. Phew, my tongue feels like it's all twisted from all this chatting. <laughs> That's not news to me. And I didn't even have to worry once about the rain coming down. See you later, Smudge. All right, Jimmy Five, see you later. I'm tired. What's up, Smudge? I had fun playing with you. I did too, and we can keep playing tomorrow. <laughs> it's all the little things that are amazing. Lost in the bedroom. Let's prepare to set sail. Let's go full speed ahead. And here we go. Smudge, what a great idea that was to build these toy mountains in your womb. It's awesome. Ah, it was awesome, wasn't it? I built these things little by little, getting some junk over here and some from over there. It took me a whole week to finish it, but it was worth it. Yes, it was. And with all of these great toys that I've collected, we can imagine any kind of adventure that we could possibly want. <laughs> Let's pretend that we're all soldiers from outer space, okay? Oh, no. It's getting late already. I have to go home and take a shower, but I will come back tomorrow and keep on playing, okay? Take a shower? That is the worst excuse that I've ever heard. If you had said that it was time for your soap opera, I would have understood it more, but... Uh, but Smudge... What's up? I can't seem to find where your bedroom door is. What do you mean? The door is right there next to the bed. Hey, where's my bed at? I was pretty sure it was to the left of the wardrobe and... Speaking of which, where did the wardrobe go? And we can't even get out through the window because I don't know where it is. Hey, Smudge, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. We are trapped in here, lost inside your bedroom. Ah! That's it. I'm going to be trapped inside here forever in this smelly place that smells like wadding feet. Ah! I can't catch my breath anymore. <gasps> Relax, Jimmy Five. I'm gonna find a way to get us out of here. Yeah, Willie? But how? Easy. I'll just use a compass to find the door. Use a compass? That's great! I didn't know that you even had a compass on you. I found it in the garage with some other junk that my dad was throwing out that day. How cool! Tell me, where is it pointing to? To the mountain over there! Now how are we gonna get through there? I have an idea. Hold this here. Here it is. We have a flashlight and a helmet for each one of us. I think that we're under your bed now. I hope that we can find the way out of here before we run into something like dirty socks. I found it! The way out or a pair of dirty socks? Either one of those things. I just found my favorite trading cards, Cow Blau Blau. Oh, what a happy day. Let's play Ring Around the Rosie. And we'll sing and have fun all night long. Smudge, focus, focus. We're looking for the way out, remember? All of these bottle caps, marbles, and card collections won't do us any good if we die of hope in here. Enough. I threw all of it over the junk mountain. Maybe this way we won't get so distracted by all of this garbage. Okay, now you should check the compass to see if we're headed in the right direction. I'm very sorry, but I can't do it. But why not? Because you just got rid of the compass along with the rest of my garbage, remember? Oh, oh it's the end. We're all doomed inside here. Calm down. There's no need to give up hope just yet. 
It's easy to find the way out. Take a look. There's a light over there. I bet you that it's from the bedroom window and... Ah! Ah! We're saved! Uh, hey, Smudge, I think the light you saw was not from the bedroom window. No? What do you mean? It's Sunny! What are you doing in here, my man? And what's up with the beard? What in the world happened to you? Huh? What in the world happened to me? <laughs> uh, three days ago, I came in here to pick up my ball that accidentally got in through the window. But it's so messy in here that there was no way for me to find the way out. Three days now? My goodness, and nobody's even noticed that he was missing. That's so awful. Hey, Sonny. Uh, we're here to rescue you. Why don't you get up? Yeah, I think that we're pretty close to the exit. The exit? There's no way out of here. It's an endless labyrinth made out of cardboard boxes, comic books, and plastic bottles, and useless broken toys. Only my dear Will says for real. <laughs> the rest of it is all lies. Don't believe anything. It's all a web of lies. All a web of lies. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta get out of here, Jimmy Five. We can always come back here to rescue Sonny later. He's completely lost his mind. But we can't leave him here like this. He must be starving by now and... Ah, well, the problem is solved. Here it is. A whole box of meat pies that I had left in here in my bedroom. Box of meat pies? I love these. Give them to me. I'm starving. Mm. I thought that they were going to be for Sonny. For who? Oh, yeah, for Sonny. Mm. I'll take whatever's left over to him. <laughs> I only hope that they're still good. What? What do you mean, still good? <laughs> That's because those are the leftovers from the birthday party that Monica had last year. Ah, you poisoned your own friend! What? No, wait a second! If I end up dying because of this, I'll come back here to pull on your feet! Help me, please! You know what? I'll practice it right now! Huh? Jimmy Five, you have to take a look at this! Take a look, we're back at the top of the mountain! What? Hey, isn't that the bedroom door over there? We finally found the exit! <laughs> Wait a second. That's not the bedroom door. What could that be? What if it's an ancient sacred temple that's been hidden in here for a very long time? Now what? Shall we open it? But what if we provoke the wrath of some ancient god with a shellfish head? Well, as someone who's faced Monica, an ancient god with a shellfish head is a piece of cake. So true. I love finding danger. And one, and two, and three. Ah! One, try to climb the mountains. No, run away from the mountains. What was that thing? Oh, another of my projects. I built that big ball with all the gum that I chewed over the past few years, and it was hidden away on the very top shelf inside of the wardrobe. Ugh, that's disgusting. I was just hit by a giant ball of chewed up bubble gum. We got lucky, actually. We could have been hit by an even bigger ball made of all of my boogers. Ugh. Hey, wait a second. Look at this bucket and at that broom. Oh, I think that I recognize this place, too. We're right back to the point where we started. Everything that we just did was for nothing. <laughs> We're trapped inside of here forever. <laughs> and I'm going to miss my soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying in there? Are you boys okay? Look! It's the way out! Finally! We are free! Oh, what just happened? Mommy! Were you lost inside of my bedroom too? I'm so glad that I found you. Hey, are you really taking all the credit by yourself? Like I didn't help you out? Hold on a second, boys. Explain to me what was going in there. I... Oh, look, the sunlight. It burns me with all its glory. I feel so liberated and intoxicated at the same time. Oh, King Star, why did you abandon me in the darkness for such a long time? <laughs> what was he talking about? It's nighttime already. There's no sun out here. Yep, he's lost his mind. Well, I must get going. I don't want to miss dinner. The adventure in your bedroom was very fun. Did you say fun? <laughs> yeah, I must admit that it really was. But I'll say that I want to stay away from that room for a good long while. Mm, can you explain to me what that mess in your room is about, <laughs> young man? <laughs> Well, forget about what I said. It looks like I'm gonna be stuck in here for a good long while instead. <sighs> the Treehouse. 
Hey, where are you going with that garbage? For your information, young grasshopper, this stuff isn't garbage. These are the best raw materials available on the market to allow me to fulfill my childhood dream. Huh? Whoa, 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 wait up, what dream? Duh, I'm building a tree house, Jimmy Five, of course. <gasps> oh, a tree house? But that's also my childhood dream. <laughs> hey, stop being a copycat, man. That dream's already mine. So what? Many people can have the same dream. All right, all right. I guess we don't have to fight just because you're not original. Could we build a tree house together? Well, I guess so. I think I'm gonna need help in the end anyways. Okay, what do we need to stall? Tell me, come on, come on, huh? Well, a tree. Huh? I'll handle that. I know everything that we still know about trees. <laughs> Look! I'll vote down! Look at that mouth of a tree! You won't find anything better than that. I guarantee it. It's well located. Nice neighborhood. I'm surrounded by nature. All right, all right, I'm convinced already. Oh, help me with this, dude. Wait, what? But I've already done my part. I already arranged the tree. What do you mean, arranged? The tree was already here. It's not yours. Ah, uh, feel funny, Smudge. Not even a minute ago, you were desperate to find the white tree. Uh, quiet over there, helper. I need to complete some calculations. Uh, I'm gonna climb up and you pass me the materials, okay? Huh, that's which. Now I'm a helper. And I got the hardest part of the job. I'm starting to not like this partnership. All right, I'm here. Toss it up now. Hey, you got it? Huh? Got what, dude? <laughs> We barely started working, and you're already sleeping on the job. Oh, what happened? Uh, this isn't gonna work out like this. I think it's best if we build it down here, and then we take it up there afterwards when it's done. Yeah, I think so too. So then, let's get started. Can I get my room with the notion view? No, but I can make it with a view to the wall. Ugh, what a terrible view! Who designed this terrible project? Well, this isn't a house to live in, dude. It's actually more of a summer house. What do you mean? Well, like, a place for us to rest in. To hide from the rain, to hide from Monica, you know, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Are you almost done? Oh, yeah. Are you almost done? Uh, yeah. Hey, is it done now? Ow! Yeah! Hey, is it almost Ow! done now? No, it's not almost done. There's still a whole lot to go! You know, I sure hope you want to be something else when you grow up, because you wouldn't get any clients acting like this. Well, it's not like you're paying me much. It's finally done. What do you think? Uh, well, it kind of looks like a doghouse. <laughs> Say what? What do you mean? That's ridiculous. You really don't get modern architecture at all, do you? Huh? Well, but it totally does look like a doghouse. Oh, just shut it, man. We still have other things that we need to think of. Like what? We have to get the house on top of that tree still. Huh? Did your wonderful architectural project not take that little detail into account? Uh, well, you know, I had to increase the square footage of the house because you pushed yourself onto my childhood dream. So wait, you saying the house was supposed to be even smaller? Then it was going to be a boathouse. The two of us won't even fit into this one. Of course we'll fit in there. You see, it's a compact model house and... <laughs> Oh, if I find those two brats, I'll just... Where in the world did they go? Didn't I say we could fit? Yeah, but I can't breathe. Well, I guess they're not around here. My fantastic treehouse idea just saved us. <laughs> and we didn't even need to put it on the tree. <laughs> huh? But what is this doghouse doing here? It's not a doghouse! That's right, it's a bird house. <laughs> Wait a minute, who's hiding in there? Oh, uh, who's 
asking. I know it's you two. Get out of there now, or else this house is coming right down. Ah, you can huff and puff all you want, but this house won't come down. Wait, this reminds me of a different story. Oh, oh, oh. oh wide, I give up. I don't want to be trapped in this house like a little piggy. <laughs> can I help you, Monica? Yes, I have something to uh, discuss with you. Oh! <laughs> Discussions with Monica are always so painful. It's your turn to come out, Smudge. Is this by any chance the same discussion you just had with Jimmy Five, is it? Um, basically, yeah. Well, then I'm sorry, but I won't be able to see you today. Pencil in another time with my secretary. Oh, yeah? Well, in that case, let me help you get out of that birdhouse. Wait a second. What are you going to do? <laughs> What's up, Smudge? Are you all right up there? Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Now the house is on the tweet. In the end, it all woke down. <laughs> I know. It's so cool. Now I have a tree house on the tree. Na, 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 na. Whoa. Whoa, yo. Oh, look at that smudge! Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you it was a boat house? <laughs> and I made it too! <laughs> oh, wow! 